We're here at the Tinku Gallery on Ronson Vale, 437, and I'm here with Amrita Chandra. Um, and uh, it's uh, www.tinkugallery.com. And this is the current show, The Art of Travel. And these are four artists who met in Venice on an MFA course, and that was about 10 years ago. And here they are, once again, re reunited in your gallery. That's true. And this was the first time you've had someone curate this uh, space. Uh, since you opened it, is that correct? It, that's true. I, uh, I think I was a bit of a control freak when I first opened the gallery. I felt so attached to everything I was doing. and Not that I'm not attached anymore, but I think I, I really loved the idea of bringing somebody in who knew me and who knew the space and just giving her free reign to put together a show. And I literally did see the show until it was hung on the walls. So, yeah, it's been, it's been a lot of fun working with Bridget. Now tell me a little bit about how you got your gallery started, because this is a really neat model um, that I know uh, it's becoming more and more popular with, with ambitious, ambitious gallerists uh, for starting a, a space. Yeah, well, um, sort of the, the long story is that I had moved here from Boston and I was actually house hunting. And when I was in the neighborhood, I saw that the space for, was for sale and I decided I didn't need a house, but I did feel at the time that it was a great chance for me to open a gallery. and so. I opened it up, uh, I was freelancing and so I had the gallery open and I would be working in here on my other work um, while the gallery was open five days a week. And then over time as it's evolved I've noticed that, um, you know, partly as I just build up my name and also, you know, the neighborhood is not kind of an established art neighborhood yet, I wasn't getting sort of lots and lots of foot traffic so I started to cut back on the number of days that the gallery was open for sort of walk-in visitors and now I am open only on Saturdays for walk-ins and I do still have the gallery open by appointment and more and more I'm finding that people are actually coming in by appointment um, because they're interested in either looking at a particular piece or they are ready to purchase and they want to come in and spend some time here. And uh, you, you describe yourself as an outsider uh, and you have a pretty, pretty significant Twitter following which is a pretty good indication of a pretty good uh, subscriber list to your gallery news and, and a following as well. So, I mean, these were, uh, uh, and more than a lot of established galleries I, I found in town. Well, uh, I think in a way being an outsider was a bit of an advantage because I didn't have a, a sort of face-to-face -face personal network because I had just moved to Toronto and I wasn't a part of the kind of established art community. And in fact, I've met some gallery owners even in my neighborhood who weren't you know, particularly welcoming that there was another guy in the neighborhood. <laughs> and so I just went about my business and just, you know, you work around the system. You, um, you find people in uh, other ways. And I think one of the great things about the web right now is that it levels the playing field and really allows, you know, people with less resources to still have, you know, as a big an opportunity to at least get their voice out there. Um, I would say also, as, as much as I love my Toronto Twitter followers, I, I love, one thing I love about Twitter is that I have so many people that are connected to me from other parts of the world. And so um, that's also uh, been really interesting and uh, allows me to kind of, you know, have a broader perspective on not just art, but just on life. Well, you're one of the first uh, galleries really in, in Toronto to take advantage of Twitter. Twitter's not that big in Canada comparatively. And people have included on a lot of the people I've been talking to at uh, uh, artist-run centers and etc. Are very skeptical. They think it's uh, some sort of like you know I fed my cat today, you know, yeah. uh, kind of kind of thing. They don't realize the, the the vast potential to connect with new members for your your gallery. For sure, and, uh, and you know I mean I have uh, you know my my other life is working in the software industry, and so I've always been very curious about technology. And again, I think in a way not being kind of an insider, quote unquote or having worked in other galleries that are used to doing things very traditionally, it meant that I didn't really have a lot of baggage. I was able to just start with a blank sheet of paper and say, okay, I'm gonna do things my way. Um, I definitely got some pushback from visitors, even from some of my artists. They were kind of skeptical. Why are you spending so much effort on this kind of thing? And, um, but at the end of the day, I think I just tried to work with my strengths and I knew that one of my weaknesses was that I didn't have the sort of established art background, so. Well, I recommend the art of traveling to this gallery. Thank you very much. Thanks, Chris.